The planet of Ilum in the Star Wars universe is one of the most precious to the Jedi. It is ancient and beautiful. On the planet of Ilum is where Jedi collect their kyber crystals, imbuing their own essence within the crystal itself. And the crystal then achieves a color. On their way back from the planet of Ilum, the Jedi construct their lightsaber hilt. Hilts that Jedi will use for the rest of their lives, in service of the Republic and in service of the Order. That is why Ilum is so sacred and precious to the Jedi. It in many ways represents the path of a Jedi. Jedi and is a key part in the Jedi journey. Ilum's recorded history began tens of thousands of years before the Galactic Empire's creation, where an ancient Jedi scout discovered the planet and discovered that it was exponentially more powerful in the light side of the Force than any other location the Jedi had ever seen. Jedi survey teams were later sent out and ultimately discovered the vast quantity of naturally forming kyber crystals. Because of this, the Jedi High Council dispatched scholars, artisans, and warriors to secure the planet for the Jedi. It was here that the Jedi High Council also determined that the planet should remain a secret to the galaxy at large, as kyber crystals could be used in the construction of one's lightsaber, but also in deadly weaponry. It then became tradition for Jedi younglings to venture to the planet of Ilum with the help of a Jedi Master, where a gathering ceremony would take place, and each young Jedi youngling would claim their own kyber crystal for their lightsaber construction. But why am I discussing Ilum before I reveal the major confirmation that Star Wars has for us concerning the lightsaber construction of a Jedi, and the lightsaber crystals that the Jedi used for centuries, with Grandmaster Yoda even getting a crystal from Ilum himself. The reason for that being is we have confirmation now that Ilum is in fact Starkiller Base, the super weapon featured in Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens, and that Jedi Fallen Order actually recently confirmed this to us, and Ilum met a sad, ill fate. Before we explain exactly how Ilum, the sacred planet of the Jedi, would eventually become a mass super weapon, we have to discuss the period of the Empire, where Jedi Fallen Order takes place. In Jedi Fallen Order, we actually get to venture to the planet of Ilum in search of a kyber crystal, and it is here confirmed to us that Ilum will eventually become Starkiller Base, and the First Order will construct a super weapon within the planet of Ilum itself. During the reign of the Empire, the Empire quickly began stripping Ilum, revealing magma bubbling from Ilum's core. The entrance to the ancient Jedi Temple had been destroyed to allow access to the crystal caves deep within the world. A massive mining ship, as well as two Imperial Star Destroyers, stood watch over the planet and gained its riches, being there at all times. The Empire used geothermal energy from the planet's core to power their machinery and control the internal temperature of their industrial operations, using kyber crystals as a power source, even for their greatest weapon, the Death Star and the Death Star II. Because of this, harmful byproducts were created, causing the destruction of Ilum's pristine ecosystem. It is unknown the exact timeline of the construction of Starkiller Base, but before it was constructed, the planet that would become Starkiller Base was once a remote and mysterious world known to only a handful of the galaxy, of course the Jedi. We recently learned that the construction of Starkiller Base was actually a product that was developed by the Empire, not the First Order specifically, just that the First Order finished what the Empire started. After the Empire's fall at the Battle of Jakku, the founders of the First Order secured research logs from the secret Imperial laboratories detailing the planet. We know though that it actually took the First Order decades of searching the unknown regions of space before they eventually stumbled upon Ilum. The First Order also discovered that the Empire had not found all of the kyber crystals that had formerly been on the planet, and that there were still enough left to create the superweapon. Mining operations were conducted in order to harvest the planet's kyber crystal deposits for use in the First Order's war machine Starkiller Base. The First Order then converted Starkiller Base into a mobile superweapon platform, with the colossal super laser array embedded in the planet's crust. Because of the large amounts of kyber crystals within the planet itself, it was far more powerful than the Death Star or the Death Star 2 super laser. Of course we know the ultimate fate of Starkiller Base, as the Resistance was eventually able to destroy it with the help of nearly their entire fleet, and the hero Han Solo. But because of Jedi Fallen Order, the long theory that Ilum was in fact Star Killer base was confirmed, quite sadly I may add. But what are your personal thoughts on this massive confirmation for the Star Wars universe, and the tragic fate of the sacred world of Ilum? As always my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.